guys well first of all good luck on your city and guilds exams now let us take a look at some stage three algebra questions all right so this is a substitution question this means you're going to substitute the values for the letters so wherever you see a you're going to put four b you put five and c you put 16 go ahead now and do perform the calculations so four squared is 16 two fives 10 and the square root of 16 is 4 so now we have 10 minus 4 in bracket and you multiply this by 16 which is the same as 16 times 6 All right, next question. Going into your exam, guys, make sure you are aware of unlike and like terms in algebra. Here we have 4y plus 3y equal 28. 4y and 3y are like terms, which means you can add them together. So we get 7y equal to 28. How do we solve for y now? Divide both sides by 7. 7 into 7 would just give you 1 over on the left-hand side. So you have 1y. And then 7 into 28... Give, give you 4. So y is equal to 4. Getting into some simple linear equations. So guys, I mean, after you've gotten your answer, you can just substitute the value for x and work it out to see if your answer is correct. But anyway, what do we do from here? That subtract 1, we can put it over the other side and it becomes a plus 1. So we have 2x equal to 2. And now we divide 2 by both sides of the equation. Or take the 2 to the other side. It is uh, multiplying on your left. So when you go over to your right, it is going to divide. So 2 into 2, 1. And as I said before, guys, just substitute the 1 in the equation to see if the answer will turn out correct. Alright, guys, so you might want to pause the video and, I mean, replay any part as much as possible to make sure you're understanding the concept. So here we have... Uh, 3ab what is the value of 3ab again another substitution method so a is 5 b is 6 all we need to do is to substitute these values in that expression so we have 3 times 5 times 6 so 3 5 15 and 15 by 6 definitely 90 and another one p is 4 r is 2 we just need to substitute these values so we have now p times 2 cube because pr means to multiply right so 2 cube now is what make sure you know your cubes your squares and you know your exponentials because 2 to the third is not 6 but 8 and 4, 8, 32. So your answer there is definitely B. Now guys, going into the exam, you want to ensure that you know the square root of a, a basic number. So like the square root of 36, the square root of 169. Some basics of square roots and, and other exponential, you want to make sure you're going into the exams knowing this. All right, so let's take a look at another question. Simple linear equations. And this is basically just asking you which number you subtract from 4 to get 7. Is it 11? No, because 11 from 4 will give you a negative 7. Is it 3? 3 from 4 is 1, so definitely not 3. Is it minus 3? Yes, because when you have 2 negative there in the middle, it turns out positive. So you'll end up getting 7. So it's definitely negative 3. So what you can do, guys, to make the y positive is to take the y to the other side of the equation, right? And then you take the 7 to the left-hand side. However, if you know how to work with the negative variable, then let the negative variable stay on the left-hand side and you do your calculation. Solve the equation, 3x plus 5 equals 17. So we go ahead, we can take 5 to the next side of the equation. It will become subtraction since it is adding on the left-hand side. So we get 3x equal 12. Now how do we solve for x? 
divide both sides by 3. 3 into 3x leave x. And 3 into 12 of 4. So the answer is definitely B. And we can substitute this value for x in the equation to see if it turns out correct. So we get what? 3 times 4, 12. And 12 plus 5, 17. All right, so yes, there will be some worded questions that seem oh, difficult or what's not. But what you need to do is to pay attention to the keywords. So look at this question now. The acceleration A of a train can be calculated by dividing. So you see their key term dividing. The difference. So you know you have to divide something. You know you have to find a difference of something. Difference, subtraction, right? Between its final speed V and its initial speed U. By the time taken, T. So it means whatever you are dividing is going to be divided by T. And you need to find the difference of V and U. And all of this will equal to A. Right? So you just pay attention to the key terms and jot them down. You will have fun on the exam, guys. The questions are pretty straightforward, very easy, nothing to worry about. Good luck again and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.